It's my time to shine. I'm about to cover the Sagittarius reading for 2021. You could take a resonate. You could leave the rest. This is not going to be for every Sagittarius, but this is going to resonate for some. I will be covering everything from finance down to love to career. Whatever the divine tell me that I need to speak on. I will also be reading about your chakras and what's yet to come and what you need to know. I found a new way to have my camera so I ain't got to deal with nothing, which is great. is more better this way. I always find something the better way. Okay. I'm about to see your overall energy of your reading before I get any further. So this is my last reading, but I'm going to take me a hot bubble bath and go relax. The bottom of the deck is justice. You could be dealing with a legal situation. Um, it could be anything from criminal to child support to anything legal. That's your overall reading is something legal. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to see what the divine, the universe want to say to you regarding um, anything that's going on in your life or may come up into your life. For January 2021, this is a whole monthly reading for the sign of Sagittarius. So, I definitely want you to take what resonate and leave the rest. Universe, spirit guide, holy angels, please tell Sagittarius. Okay. Damn. Please tell Sagittarius. What they need to know for 2020. Okay. I see the bottom of the deck is of the hangman. This is basically you stuck in a suspended state, but that's because you want to. So I'm going to move forward. Your past energy was the emperor. I'm trying to make sure this is seeable. The Emperor is Aries energy. This is somebody that probably had ball status in the past. You also got the Seven of Swords, which represent truth and clarity of a situation. Uh, you basically is coming up out of trying to get away with something. Maybe in your past you was trying to get away with something, but now you're coming up out of that negative energy, which is good. You also have the um the King of Cups. Your emotions was all over the place in the past, perhaps. You have the high priestess, which is um, Sagittarius energy. Uh, something's coming out that was hidden. I just recognized that some of my things came off of my nail. Jeez. I definitely noticed that quick. Anyway. This is Sagittarius energy, the high priestess. Something is coming out into the open that was hidden or already came out. You had the six of cups. This talk about somebody from your past coming back, or this is also something that happened in the past or something to do with your past that's coming back um, to you. Cups also rep represent Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. You also got the nine of cups, like your emotions is all intact at this present time or in that present time, because this reading is for January 2021. You got the queen of swords. This is somebody cutting through bullshit with truth and clarity of a situation. You could have been dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You also got the nine of pentacles. This is the Capricorn, Taurus energy. This is somebody that basically is comfortable in their situation.
You also had the sun reverse. This is a Leo you could be dealing with. Somebody that you're not happy with or you may not be happy in the future about a situation. I'm just looking at my nail. I'm hot. I'm going straight to them nail people. That, I don't like that. Lord knows. Okay. Anyway, back to Sagittarius reading. Yes, I'm vain. I'm going to go back to your past because I need to go and see what's going on. So I'm going to clarify this emperor because that's the Aries energy. You might have been dealing with an Aries in your past, which I really don't like Aries, so... And we want to see what's going on. Okay, it already was coming out. Damn, you got the Emperor double whammy. So, yeah, you probably was dealing with an Aries or you was an Aries energy double whammy or you was dealing with it. Or, or Emperor. Emperor is somebody that's like, they over the king. They like, they rule shit. Bottom line. like, And you got the Emperor twice in your past. So, that's like weird. This is somebody that rules shit. This light is too much for my eyes. I just need a reflection. Okay. Now, I'm going to see what you coming up out of getting away with. What is the energy surrounding the seven of swords reverse? Yeah, you got justice. Now, this way, you're going to get justice out of something. Maybe because you're coming up out of getting away with shit. Give me the energy for the Seven of Swords, Universe, Spirit, Guides, Holy Angel, the Seven of Swords, Reverse. Yeah, you got judgment as well. So, maybe you came out of, out of a certain energy and you know the divine because the judgment is a good card. You also got the Ace of Rods. This is a birth of a pregnancy. This is a new beginning in your past. Hmm. Could it be significant and had your emotions up in the air let's see yeah you got the eight of swords you coming up out of feeling like bound tied can't see I, this also could indicate coming up out of a jail that's what i say um but a lot of people say this is when you coming up out of feeling bound can't move in a situation but to me it resonates how it resonates i want to go to your present now and see um which what's coming out that was hitting that maybe you don't know about yet. And patience reveals it all in due time. So, I want to see what that's about. Universe, spirit, guides, holy angel. Please clarify the high preachers reverse. Why is the high preachers here reverse? Yeah, you got the seven of pentacles reverse. Like your pinnacles is not growing properly at this time. And then you got the king of swords cutting through some bullshit to truth and clarity of a matter. That could have been your energy or somebody energy cutting through your money. Universe, spirit guide, holy angel. Please tell me why the high priestess is here for my Sagittarius. Why is the high priestess here? Why is the high priestess here? Um. Uh, yeah, you have the two of pentacles trying to stay balanced, or you could be dealing with a Capricorn, and then you got a king of pentacles reverse. So this is basically like your pentacles is just not where they supposed to be at this time. I'm going to clarify the six of cups, your emotions, and who coming back from the past or your childhood. Okay, you got the three of wands. This is Sagittarius. Leo Aries energy basically you waiting for your ships to come in but you got to make take that first leap and you're not making something happen maybe because there's a lot of confusion and competition wrapped around the situation let me see what else why is the six of cups here for my Sagittarius 
Yeah, you rest, retreat, and praying in the situation about something. Maybe it's just time to like, basically, when the forest wars, it's just when it's time just to rest, retreat, and think, and just be still. I'm going to see your emotions and it's all intact with the Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Okay, you got the Seven of Cups, where there's a lot of confusion and choices around a situation. Let's see. Yeah, it'll come out again. You got a lot of double cards. Like your emotions is intact at this present time. Okay. We're going to go. We're going to see the Queen of Swords. Rosie, I just know you ain't messing with my stuff. Don't play with me. What's the energy surrounding this Queen of Swords? Why is the Queen of Swords here for Sagittarius? Why is the Queen of Swords here? Why is the Queen of Swords here? Okay, you may be holding something close to your heart, or you could be holding your money close to your heart. You got the king of rods, not making a move, not making something happen. Why is the queen of swords here? I need more. It's a closing of a cycle to begin anew, which is the world. Why is the nine of pentacles here? Maybe you feel as though somebody got the whole world in their hands. Or maybe you feel maybe a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo got the whole world in his hands. Somebody you know that's just beautiful, have things in order. Could be Capricorn. Let's see why the Nine of Pentacles is here. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? The Ace of Cups. The universe gave you a card of fulfillment. Or maybe you fulfill with this person. Why is the sun here reversed? You got the King of Cups. You and your emotions about something, maybe with a Leo. Damn, you got all these same cards. You got the Hermit, which is Virgo energy, which you're supposed to go within and meditate. You got the Ten of Cups. Basically, you with a partner, a relationship, or a situation, or you want to work to the Ten of Cups, maybe with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Let me see your overall energy, Sagittarius. What's your overall energy? Universe, spirit, guys. Rosie, always acting up. You got the Knight of Swords. This is somebody that be coming in to cut through some bullshit with truth and clarity of a situation. That could be your energy. I'm going to go see what your love is talking about. Universe, spirit, guy, holy angels. What do you have to say regarding Sagittarius love life for January 2020? It says addiction. Laugh out loud. Reverse though. Codependent obsession. Possession. Controlling. Has a block restraint. So you're coming up out of a lot of addictions. It could be addictions in money, love, sex, whatever. It's like you come up out of that. So that's kind of like a good energy. I'm going to see your chakras, which was not balanced. That needs to be balanced in your life. Universe, spirit guide, holy angel, the card that came out for you. One card is your crown chakra. You need to open your brain, use your brain, start realizing stuff, and start being more intact with the divine, is what that's trying to tell you. What do you have to tell the Sagittarius for January 2020? All right, two cards came out. I'm going to just give them to you. The first one say, what seems impossible is possible, believe. So basically you said you got to believe in something besides yourself. Listen to your own inner voice. Your knowledge is within you. Don't listen to people. Listen to yourself. So like what you're reading is kind of was like quick and like collective. It's basically you, you cutting through a lot of shit in your past. You was the emperor. You know, you got judgment. You come up out of being slick, which is something good because... Sagittarius is very slick and you know but your crown chakra you definitely got to get balanced with that that's a serious situation that needs to be balanced that's your brain that's that's your intellect and it's like you cutting through a lot of shit it seems like you're too happy right now like bottom line you got somebody that's coming back from your past or you dealing with somebody back from your past your past could be anything it could be a year ago a day ago a week ago, it's just somebody you dealing back with that you may have feelings for, and 
it's a queen that bitch just be cutting through some bullshit that's in your life. The, the truth and clarity, they just don't deal with too much. But you keep it something close to your heart. It could be your money or it could be something else. And you're not trying to make something happen. And you and you clearing up a cycle. Like you clearing up the new, the old for the new. And it's like you stable at this time. Or you could be dealing with a Capricorn. And it's like you feel like you got the whole world in your hand to make something happen. And the universe gave you a cup of abundance and of fulfillment to fulfill your own, um, you know, needs. And it's like you're not happy right now. It could be with a Leo. That's in your future. And you in your emotions because of a certain situation. And you're going to pray within about something. And you like want the Ten of Cups with some type of partnership, friendship, or relationship with maybe a Capricorn. Is what I'm seeing. So, I'm going to get one more love card. And then I'm going to end y'all reading. I'm glad it was fast. You got reverse is going it alone. Listen to inner wisdom. Like, you're not, li you're not listening to your inner wisdom. And, and you're not going by yourself. Like, sometimes you need to just be by yourself when you got to go within to talk to the divine. You can't always be around a group of people all day long. It's basically what they say. I'm just looking like how some of my rhinestones came off. That's why I don't like new people touching me. They don't know what the fuck they be doing. Alright. This is um the Sagittarius reading for 2021 January. I hope everybody have a happy new year. Peace, light, and blessings to all.